Alrighty, I think we are live and rocking and rolling. Everyone out there, are you ready? Can you all see me? What a day for weekend. I, I, first online, I, I reckon we're live. How is my audio? Everyone in the chat, have a talk to me because we have got a big, oh, massive day of arm wrestling. Alrighty, as I am, here we go. People in the chat, give us a heads up. Can you hear us? What is going on? Let we me like. talk to everyone. Everyone seems to be going good. Now, before I get into business, let me just introduce Ready Bang! You are watching the number one live stream in the world. I'm your host, the Aussie Arm Wrestler, and this is the Super Series 3 live stream where you are going to see the main event between Ryan Bowen and Lachlan Adair. Let me introduce some of my good mates with me that are raring to go. Some dead set legends. Got. If you have not already, you need to head over to the Andy and Mario show and you need to pin that subscribe button and check out these two legends. I've got Andy B and Mario T from the Andy and Mario show. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's happening, man. Mate, we got to be up and about. Got to be up and about. Now, before we get into everything, I just want to explain to everyone that is in the chat, and thank you so much for coming and hanging out with two of the best. What's happened? I've just lost you guys. Give me two seconds. You're back there. Uh, let me click on that. That should that should be better. There we go. We are back. We are up and about. So, the, it is a massive card. So, the Powerhouse Gold Coast Club have got a massive show going on, I believe. Let's go through the list. I think it's 15 matches with Blue and Lockie being the main event. And we are, not only we're going to cover them, we're going to go through them, but you will see the matches here live. We're trialling something with the Powerhouse Gold Coast Club, Ryan Blue Bowen and Bayside Krakens. Ryan Blue Bowen will be streaming, but we are allowed to take his stream. So you are going to three see us three handsome mother effers get in and call the action, and you will. You will see the action live here. So, boys, while everyone says good day to us in the chat, I believe we're, it's about 45 minutes till the first match starts. So all the legends in the chat, yep. tell us from around the world where you are from. And we'll go with Andy. Andy, let everyone know how pumped are you for, for today? It's going to be a very, very big event. Like you said, 15 matches. Um, and then we've got four main card matches. Um, as you said, we'll run you through the list. But there's going to be fireworks all the way through. So make sure you guys stick around from the whole time. You don't want to miss anything today. That's right. That's right. There, there are so, so many. On a, on a scale of one to Ready Bang, how excited are you? Not only for the card, but for the main event. Just going to have to say Ready Bang, mate. That's Simple right. Thing. Ready Bang! Oh, absolutely pumped. And someone on the other side of things looks pretty pumped. He's had a clean shave. He's fixed the beard up. He's cracked his first beer. The Aussie arm wrestlers are sitting in the fridge at the moment. I wasn't sure what action we're going to take. But Mario, first of all, make sure you say hi to everyone in the chat. But how jacked up are you for today? I'm pretty fucking pumped, to be honest. This is a, it's a, it's a long awaited match for number one. And it's going to be fucking sick. It is. It's really it. Oh, it's mate, really it. it is going to be nuts. We've got people from Eastern Canada. We've got North Carolina. We've got some of my Patreon supporters in the house. Cleveland, Ohio, Los Angeles, upstate New York. We are having people from all over the world that are keen to see this one. A quick reminder, guys, what is happening now is me and Andy and Mario from the Andy and Mario Show. Make sure you pin that subscribe button. And if any of my moderators are in the chat, please put the link to these guys' YouTube channel. Good friends of mine and absolute gun arm wrestlers in Australia, which we'll get to in a moment. Make sure you look after them. What is going to happen is, yes, we are having a chat now. Consider this your pumped up pre-show. 
something to just get those balls and vanities just tickling away nice and excited. Because <laughs> we're going to get you excited for the matchups then. There is a 15 super card from the Powerhouse Gold Coast Club, which will include the main event. Ryan Blue Bowen versus the Anvil, Lachlan Adair. And we will go through that in a moment. But that's what's going to happen. So stick with us. Get comfy. And if you've got a bugger off somewhere, just make sure you leave the tally on because you've got three of the finest here. And of course, da 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 the most oh, sought after trophy me, in the, the world trophy on the planet. of arm wrestling. I've been challenged by everyone from this 2019 Melbourne Cup left arm. 80 to 95 kilo amateur. This will always get in there. Now, guys, I know I want everyone in the chat. There's a poll there. I've got 144 votes. Andy, have you voted? At the moment, we've got 58% saying Lachlan Adair is going to take out the main event, which leaves 42% saying Ryan Bowen. So... Uh, shout out, quick shout out to our man Cobra Rhodes in the chat. Absolutely love. And shout out to everyone that has jumped in. Andy, with all the polls and all the polls, all the votes, all the podcasts, all the talk, are you surprised by it's only 57% to Lachlan or is this sitting around where you thought it would? Yeah, well, look... I would have thought that the polls would favour Lockie slightly more. However, one of the main considerations is that because Blue has such a large following, there may be some bias as to the, what the polls are actually showing. So from the perspective of the fan base, you would have to argue that Blue has a substantially larger uh, following than Lockie does. Hence, it's really hard to gauge a true you know, value of what the polls should be saying versus what they are. So in saying that, I believe Lockie should be at that at least 70% favourite mark as a percentage. Um, 70%? But yeah. Mm-hmm. 70, 70%. Yeah. Mario, you seem to be the second half of the Andy and Mario show. Do you agree with your counterpart, with your teammate, compadre, with your me amigo, or do you disagree? What do you think of the stats? I think it's uh, pretty accurate. I, I, I was picturing just a short... Um, uh, Ryan Bowen Ball, falling short of that fifty percent mark, basically. So I, I think Ryan Bowen's better at advertising himself as opposed to Lachlan, and I think Andy's right on the money where the, Ryan's fans are more um, more biased. <laughs> That's so so, sure. so, That's so, it, so yeah. you're saying that it's just purely based on uh, uh, the the majority. So let's just say because uh, we've got one hundred and fifty votes, and just say sixty of them. Voted for Ryan, hypothetically. How many of those 60 people that voted do you think would actually put thought into the matchup? Or do you think the majority of them would just, ah, blues my man, blues my man? I'd say majority. I just like blues my man. Basically, yeah. Andy? Yeah, I mean, I think that there are quite a a number of um, new arm wrestlers that have found arm wrestling through Blue, so may not be very uh, well-versed in Australian arm wrestling and actually how good Lockie Adair is. So, yeah, look, it is tough to say and we're just speculating. But I would say, yeah, to the majority majority of Blue's voters uh, from his fan base would be um, maybe partially biased or maybe they generally do think that, lock, uh, that, that Blue can and will win. At the end of the day, Styles make matches, so we're just going to have to wait to see what happens oh, today. And we, yeah, we, we will have to wait. We'll have to wait through this mega card that we're going to get through in a moment. But just want to let everyone know in the chat, these two that are sitting with me, uh, top 10 in Australia. We, we had Mario had a, a killer super match where he beat someone that he's on the card. He weighs about 914 kilos Mario Tembargas <laughs> took care of that. And then we've just got a rat in a cage that is Andy. He's itching. He's in the same part of Victoria, same part of the country where I come from. We train at the, the same the same club. And he is just raring to get back to the top of the ranks and show everyone that he is still a force to be reckoned with. So, everyone in the chat, 
If we can get to 100 likes, I will start smashing beers right now. Let me get to 100 likes. Thank you for everyone sticking in the chat. We are about to break down the card, which is going to be mega, and that will start at about, in about 35 minutes. In about 35 minutes, we will get our opening matchup, which we are absolutely killing it for. But first of all, our friend over there in WA has just thrown in a $5 super chat. Grip and rip. Kyle Howarth, I believe this is, uh, who did a Kyle, great. Thank you. He did a great What's podcast up, Kyle? with uh, with Lachlan, which was which was yeah, it was, a, killer. it was a great interview, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah which was interview. which was awesome. Uh, it says doesn't get much better than these three all together, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, someone in the chat is saying, "Let's go, Brandon." Who's Brandon? <clears throat> <laughs> That's an interesting question. Yeah, okay, I don't, cool. Yeah, I don't recall a Brandon being on the undercard event. No, we just <laughs> have a look. Um, everyone, so but let me you know, it is just about 1pm where I am, 12pm where Mario is. So the first match is legit starting in 34 minutes and we will get that there. Now, boys, let's go through the card. Now, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 matches... And then four main matches, the main card. So the undercard, we're starting with hashtag Let's Make Left Great Again. Whatever we want to hashtag it, guys, tell everyone left hand, left hand, left hand. Left hand is the hand. It's the only hand. But we've got an opening left hand matchup. And it's Alexander Rita versus Joel Torini. Have you guys heard of any of these two? And if so, we'll go with you, Andy. If so, what are your thoughts on the opening matchup? These two are uh, almost the only two that I don't know of, actually, in this uh, event, which is a good thing. So there's obviously a lot of talent coming out that we've never heard of before. And it just goes to show that the sport is growing very, very quickly. <clears throat> As to the actual competitors themselves, I can't say too much about them because I haven't seen them compete before. But if they're on the undercard event, they're A, either going to make a little bit of a debut today or they do have a bit of experience behind them and we just haven't seen it yet. So good exposure regardless. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I have seen Joel Torini pull before and I like it. He's just uh, he's just all in, head straight in the bucket and he's ready to go. Mario, what do you think of this opening matchup that we've got? I think it's great that two people that... Oh, look, I'm not too familiar with... Alex, but Joel, I've, I've met him in a few times now, and I think he's a he's a great arm wrestler, and he's always itching for matches. You can't ask for more than that. Oh, absolutely. There's been so many times with with that one, so many times. Uh, I'm going to keep a scorecard for us as well. Uh, let me write it down. Andy, Mario, and me. Um, yeah, so many times I have met new pullers, and they're just not keen to, to get in and train uh, not train, uh, get in mm -hmm. and have matches like this and take matches yeah, just on have a stage. Crack, you know? So for him to get in there and go bang, uh, absolutely keen for that. Uh, once again, we at 98% arm wrestling. My boy's over there in Philly. Uh, 5L Super Chat, they said, what's up, legends? Let's go, Brandon, 98. <laughs> uh, I think <laughs> Brandon means F Joe by, oh, okay, political thing. Let's go, Brandon. There you go. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Good to see everyone in the chat. <laughs> some funny things going on, and that's what I love about people that jump on our chat. Okay, first one. Alexander or Joel? Guys, give me your tips. Uh, I'm just going to have to go with Alexander, because uh, named after Alexander the Great. So... That's probably some power <laughs> yeah, good reasoning right there, mate. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Mario? I'm going with Joel on this one. Going with Joel. I think it's going to be a clean sweep too. And a clean Bruno. sweep. Yeah. I'm going to put a star next to your one. Anytime someone predicts a clean sweep, I'm going to put a star and you can get a bonus point if it comes to that. I think Joel wins as well. I'm going with Joel. Only because I don't think I've seen... Um, the Rim Reader. I don't think I've seen him pull before. So, <laughs> And if I've got his last name wrong, then you can tell that I am not lying. So that, that is match one. 
Just giving everyone an update. Thank you for everyone that is hanging around in the chat. You big legends. We're going to go through the car and we're going to have a bit of fun. As you can see, I've got two boys that are just keen to have a bit of fun with the Aussie arm wrestle, which I greatly appreciate. Got half an hour. Half an hour to our first match, 15 match card. Ryan and Blue at the end. And yes, you will see it here live on the Aussie Arm Wrestlers channel. Okay, so we are into it. Match number two. Match number two, we have Ethan Johnston against my man. My man, I got I got my stocks early. I bought low on this kid, <laughs> and he's going to be great. I love him. He's my guy, Jamie Barrett. We'll go with you, Mario. EJ, Ethan yeah, Johnston, I'm... or Jamie Barrett. This is a right-hand matchup. Yeah, yeah. I know both these guys. Um, I think Ethan's a great puller as well. Um, he's fairly new, but Jamie does pack a bit more power on that right arm of his. So I'm going with Jamie. I'm betting a house on it, betting the yep. fucking assets, everything. <laughs> <laughs> All Liquify your assets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You would only be fun at the races, Mario. If we all went to the horse races, you would only be fun if like you win. Because at the moment, we're half a beer in and you've gone all in on race number two. Now, if that oh, doesn't happen, you're, you're going to be sitting there licking your wounds and like, oh, come on, let's just go home, guys, before the main bloody races even happen. Or, you know, so if Jamie wins, then we're all hanging out with Mario because he's buying for double everyone. nothing if I lose. <laughs> uh, just before you, on you get on... Um, White Wolf has jumped on with a five dollar super chat. He says, "Ozzy, Lachlan tonight and John tomorrow and December eleventh. Let's go, Brand. <laughs> I think that's going to be a running theme all day. White Wolf, you big legend, you are a supporter of all the channels, guys. Make sure if you get some time, the Andy and Mario show. Pin that subscribe button. Let's build them up, all ships." rise together but thank you for that super chat in there thank you cobra Rhodes, for being in the chat uh we'll get to that in a moment he had a great his first yeah, live stream cobra. that he hosted he did really good but let's go back to andy andy ethan johnston mm-hmm. versus mom yeah and Jamie um, Barrett. i'm in the same boat as mario on this one um i know both pullers i've seen them in training i've seen them have matches but i i, I really can't see jamie losing um, not taking anything away from Ethan, of course. I'd love to see a great match, but I do have to back Jamie in this one. <clears throat> you back, I think he's just more refined at this stage. Backing the young fella in. I don't even think he's got his mm. learner's permit. He's like 15, yeah. 16 years old. Yeah, young. <laughs> and yep. of course, the Aussie arm wrestler is going to pick Ethan. Nah, not a chance. Not a chance. I am. <laughs> 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 I'm with my man. I'm with my man, Jamie Barrett. Let me just fix this. Okay, we are going. We are rolling now. This match up, guys. When the matches start, get sexy because this next match up for me, I think is absolute killer. Uh, we've got the uh, the Rodian, Rodian K, Rodian, Rodian, the Hot Rod, mate. This bloke is dynamite, and he is taking on. Oh, no, I've missed the match. No, You've, right, skipped, match one. Three. You've skipped one. You've skipped one. Match three. match three. Just kidding, guys. I just wanted to build up <laughs> anticipation. <laughs> yeah. Right, the match, match three. We've got the, the, the younger of the competitive Burnett brothers. Man, are they making a name for themselves, which I absolutely love. Uh, he is... Uh, this is a right-hand matchup. We've got Josh Burnett. And he's taking on double duty. Joel Torini. He's going again. And he oh, nice. is going on the right hand, Andy. Before you let me know, was Crash $5 Super Chat? He just says, keep it up. And we got people from all over the world just saying, of course we got Let's Go Brandon. I don't know. If I keep saying that, <laughs> this stream keep getting pulled down. I'm absolutely loving it, but everyone's jumping in there. Billy Berger's just jumped in. He's doing some good things. And he says, hi, everybody. Thank you for that. All righty, Andy, match three. Josh Burnett, Joel Torini. Yeah, I mean, Josh Burnett, he's the youngest of the Burnett brothers, I believe. And as you said before, they're they're coming up fast. They're making a name for themselves. Um, Josh, I've seen, he does have a bit of a king's hook and a king's move on him, just like Sam does. And he's only a light guy, but geez, he seems to be making waves against seemingly bigger people. So I'm going to have to back Josh on this one. Yeah, Josh, Josh, Bur- Josh Burnett, for me, this bloody King's Hook thing, it looks yuck. 
but it's effective. Like, yep. So, Mario, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going with you guys. Joshy, Joshy for the win. Josh for the win. An interesting comment, mm. comment from Diffan. He's got in here. Aussie arm wrestler, which one of you three needs to change the battery in their smoke detector? I'm not hearing any beeping. Are you guys hearing any beeping? Nope. <laughs> nope. Thanks for the heads up. That's all. Yes. Hey, Diffan, maybe check your smoke detectors. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, thanks for thanks for jumping in, you you big legend. More people coming in from the USA, and of course, keep if you want to keep the comments coming with uh, with all your mates, Brandon, keep it going in there because <laughs> that's sexy for the algorithm. Alrighty, make left great again. Let yeah, make left great again. Now we're into a whole heap of right-handed matchups, uh, and we're all picking Joshy on that one. Rody and Kay, and another Burnett brother. These two going head to head. I've seen them practice, and I think they've like competed at tournaments. This is going to be good. Rody and I think it's Cross the Knob or something like that. Apologies against Nick Burnett. Who have we got on this one, mate? This Rody is sexy. quite fast. He's actually very fast as an arm wrestler. Good hit on him. Nick Bennett has a really good defensive top roll that I'm starting to see. <clears throat> did these two face recently? I think they did I at think. the Queensland comp. They did? Yep. And I think Nick came out on top. <sighs> this is a really tough one for me to call. I don't have enough data. I'm going to have to say Nick Burnett. Yeah, I'm going who here. actually has a pin on Tim Gatsby at 29 Nationals, Ooh, I believe. Oh, I was yeah. right over Tim Gatsby's shoulder when that happened. I, yeah, the closest seat yep. in the house. What a match that was. Matt, almost match. That was a great day. match. Uh, yep. Almost. Almost. You might have been involved in one, Andy, that I think might have been I mean, a match of the day. That was an absolute killer. Uh, Mario. What can I say? With your sexy beard, just nodding, trying to slide in people's DMs in the comments, mate. <laughs> yeah, multitasking. You yeah, feel fair. Who um, have you got in match four? Oh, dude. I, it's going to be close. I think Nick has the edge. But if Rody's really stepped up his game and he gets the hit and he hits first, I think he's going to, I think he's going to get the win. So who's your tip? That's important to Yeah. Who's your tip? Um, fuck. I'm going with Nick. Going with Nick? I'm going with Hot I'm Rod. I'm going with Nick. Right in. I'm going with Right in. I think you can pull the other It's going to be a close one. It yeah. really is. And that now, has one the potential thing to, to be a match of the night as well. Just, sure. Uh, one thing to ask, is this going to be a best of five or a first to six? I think... It's, I it's think best of five. I think they're all best of five up until the main yep. card. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, everyone in the comment section, this <clears> isn't just the three of us doing predictions. Have a guess. Have a guess. Write your tips down. Write your predictions down. Probably just copy the Aussie arm wrestler because he never misses. I can tell you that right now. Just get in there now. Now, I feel like we're there in match number five. Have a look at match number five. These two sound like 80s cop. Like... That, like, if you watch, <laughs> they do. Yeah, you got Johnny, Johnny Sowers and Jake Day. Johnny Sowers, NYPD. Give me your badge, <laughs> Jake Day. Give me your badge. You're not honoured to be a cop anymore. Know nothing about him. I just think they've both got ripper names. Do you guys know anything about these two in match number five? No. I've never no. met them. These are some unknowns. I, well. I don't think I've ever met these guys. There you go. Well, I'm I, going Jake. I did train his name's with Jake. Uh, I did train with a few Stowers in New Zealand, actually, back in 2019. But I don't know if I doubt they're related. Yeah, because his last name Sowers, not mm. Stowers, so they're probably not related because they don't have the same last name. <laughs> no, give they us, do. They do. Give us a tip. Give us a tip. And this one's honestly going to be an uneducated guess, and yeah. Johnny. Just a yeah, just a cool name. Yeah, well, yeah. I went with Jake. Oh, no. Almost as cool as Jake. Name. He's got the same with me. Who have you got, Mario? I'll go with Johnny as well. 
Johnny and I'll go, Johnny. go Jake. Beautiful. Guys, uh, as everyone is in the chat being dead set legends, we've got 20 minutes till the first match. I'm here with Andy and Mario from the Andy and Mario show. Make sure you are uh, hit that subscribe button. Help these guys out. Let's boost their numbers <laughs> while they're here. So the first match starts in 20 minutes. We're just uh, racing through the card and you will see a bit later on in the main event, Ryan Bowen. Versus Lachlan Adair. So we're going to race through this card. So we got to make sure in 19 minutes we get a bit of a chat. Uh, match six we're up to. we got Jared Zajak versus Aiden Semisaj Limu. Do you guys have any knowledge? Um, I mean, the name Aiden Semisaj Limu sounds Islander. So he's probably going to be a tough cookie. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Uh, yeah. That's all I'm picking I think, as well. I, I think that's like Sarge. Most... I think that's nicknamed by Sarge, I believe. Um, I yeah. think I've met him. I think. So we're all. So I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with that into. Okay, all going with Sarge. Uh, we got we got some Discord people in the house, which is pretty cool. Um, who are the rest for the main match? Uh, I don't know. Um, shout out to my Patreon supporter Adam Hasty, who has just told me he is subbed to your channel, guys. So oh, you can thanks, sit Adam. here for five hours, thanks, and you would have got at least one sub, and that's what it's all about. We just love growing other channels. Um, then match six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up to match seven, we've got Andrew Johnston versus Jacob the Tuxedo Tuxworth, right-handed. I don't know these two. Yeah, I've um I've heard of um, Jacob, not Andrew, but got to back my boy for having such a sexy name. You know, you going yeah, you going, <laughs> Jay. I am going for the tuxedo because I've just given him the nickname the tuxedo. Mario, yeah, right, right. I'm going with um, Andrew. Andrew, I've Andrew. seen him. I've seen him down a bottle, like a basically a bottle of whiskey. So I'm going with that. That's Real impressive, man. and that has yeah, almost man. swayed my vote. That is yeah. impressive. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, we've got Marcus Chapman versus Ben Stubbins on the left hand. Hashtag make left great again. Yes, I'm going Marcus. I'm, I'm going Marcus as well. Yeah. Uh, so I, I saw um, Marcus's, I believe, first performance at the end of 2020 in Brisbane, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was there. He was really psyched up. He was getting angry at the table. Good, you know, really good energy. Um, and he just like looked like he was lacking the experience back then. But as long as he's been consistent in the last year, I really think he could, he could do some damage today. So I do have to back Marcus. <clears throat> I'm I'm all for that. I'm back in Tracy Chapman as well. Give me one reason to stay here. Oh, you guys will probably be too young to know who Tracy Chapman is. You damn youthful people. Who's your tip, Mario? For what Marcus Chapman match? Yeah. Yeah, Marcus Chapman. Well, if you call it the Marcus Chapman match, there's your tip there. I want to race through because I want to get into. <laughs> we got 15 minutes till the first match, and I want to get into him. We've got Bob. Who apparently is a, a 40 smash hit singer like Seal, just Bob, and he's taking on Megan <laughs> McKay on the right hand. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, look, I'll be honest, Bob's just got a big fat question mark <laughs> on his, just on his back. One name like Seal. Mate, that's yeah, confidence. He's just an that, is, that is sweating confidence. That's amazing. I'm, I'm on Bob. <laughs> You're on Bob. I'm going on Mason. I think I've uh, I've seen him around. Okay, Andy. I've never seen Bob. <laughs> yeah, I, I I can't. I really can't see myself voting for someone who I have no no inkling about. So I'm gonna have to go Mason as well. Mate, Madonna, Cher, Seal. One name equals success. Bob gets the job done. Alrighty, uh, I got my man on the right hand, Troy uh, Kalia. He was a very early person that bought an Aussie arm wrestler shirt and hat. What a legend! And he is taking on Harry Tamarua. Harry Tamarua. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go um, Troy in this one. 
big looking dude. <clears throat> no, don't know a lot about Harry though, so feel free to jump in. Yeah, I, I don't know much about Harry either. Um, I'm going with my man Troy. Yep. Mario? Yeah, I'm going with Troy as well. Troy. To he, had a, he had a pretty good performance with um, with Abe in the Queensland Championships, and I think that's a really good sign of progression from his end. So I'll, I'm going. With yeah. Troy. Cool. Yeah, and I, and I believe so. Just checking, it's a right hand match. I'm not sure about right hand, but I believe he came fifth um, left handed at the Queensland comp recently. Hashtag, yeah. So hashtag he, he didn't do too, exactly right. So he didn't do too badly. Um, so yeah, I don't know what his rights like, but yeah, we will we will find out soon. Uh, last match of the undercard: Ethan Tunstall and Jeremiah yeah. Mateo. Well, we've seen Ethan more and more in the last year. Uh, he only just lost to Josh from New South Wales, didn't he, Mario? He did, yeah. That was his very last match. Um, yeah, so I'd, I'd go with Ethan on this one. I think after that loss, he would have grown, you know? Oh, it would have gone way, 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 way better. And probably um, if Jeremiah is a presser, because I'm not too sure, um, he's definitely got that avenue covered. Yeah, I mean, he's predominantly a, a low-hand top roller. Mm. Um, <clears throat> have we seen much of Jeremiah? Uh, I'm not too sure. No. I'm just trying to get you guys back on mm. the screen. Just having a bit of a play around. I think I got you guys back on the screen because I'm just trying to... Set up because Blue will be going live soon to take that stream and just trying to work out how we can sort it. Cool. Beautiful. Got got you. Also, a question, sorry. Is uh, is Jeremiah related to Fatali? No idea. The last... Do you know? Hey, maybe. No, no, I don't know. I okay. don't know. Well, I'm going with Ethan on that matchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys got yeah, the it's, it's a safe bet. It's a safe bet. All on yeah. the ether. Now the main the main card, we've got Big Marcus Atiri that uh that Mario just took care of business. And he's gonna take on Torben on the left hand. What do we think about yeah. that matchup? This is a this is a really interesting match because they, these two do have history, especially on the left hand. Yeah. Uh, in the last uh, time that they faced, Torben almost got the win. Or almost got a pin on um are we, are we talking Marcus. about the 2020 states? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that was that, that and was a good battle. That was. Um, Fatali, sorry, not Fatali, Marcus managed to come back um, and slowly bleed Torben a little bit and ended up getting the wins. Marcus has apparently been training quite hard lately and Torben, I do believe, has reignited the sparks, so has started training hard again. Uh, look, Marcus undoubtedly is the favourite just based on history. Can Torben get redemption today is another question. Just a quick shout out. I think Devin has just jumped in the chat. If it is, he's one who knows with all the troll accounts. If it is you, Devin, welcome, you dead set legend. Uh, the, the actual match, so the first match of the card starts in 10 minutes and there is 15 <coughs> matches. So I reckon... A good three hours. Three hours, Devin. I think in about three hours, you'll see Blue versus Lachlan. So keep tuning into this channel because we'll work out and have it on the screen, that's for sure. I'll, I'll play around. Um, yeah, because it's the first match is going to come up uh, very shortly. I've just got to work out how we can make that happen. Live TV, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is. So if that is you, Devin, thanks for popping in. He's a just a, he's a genuine, genuine superstar. That is that is for sure. Um, yeah, love everything he has done. Yeah, for. Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, everything he's done for the sport. But I reckon in about, yeah, there's there's 14 matches, guys. 14 matches. And until until the main one. So that'll be interesting. We've got 10 minutes till match one. So from there, we've got Sam Safuri coming back from the dead. He was an Australian legend, looking good. He's got that big mammoth beard. The guy was phenomenal at nationals uh, like 10, 15 years ago. He's done very well on the world stage, and he is taking on the white hot 
Sam Burnett. What do we think of that one, boys? Yeah, so Sam Safari is just one of those guys who he was he was one of the legends in um, Australian arm wrestling in the you know late two thousands to two thousand and tens. Um, we've seen him get pins on quite a lot of people, and you know at one time he was beating everyone. Um, he was beating Blue, beating all the big names. He's been inactive for quite a while. He's been in and out of the sport, but um, looks like he's back and he's motivated. However, Sam Burnett's still the heavy favourite and trying to get around uh, Sam Burnett's king's hook and just um, hand control at this stage is going to be quite tough. Yeah. <clears throat> um, in the past, Sam Safari has had some issues um, with the strap and not understanding exactly how, how it can be used to his advantages. So, look, out of straps, I I wouldn't put it past Sam's ability to actually stand up to Sam as far as hand control goes. Once it gets into straps, it really starts to favour Sam pretty significantly. So, good luck to both athletes, but it's going to be a war, hopefully. Oh, it's, get, it's going to be un... Oh, it's going to be sexy as hell. Mario, who's your tip? Uh, Sam is my tip. Um, I gripped both of these guys at the... Uh, Last Super Series, Warrior versus Marcus, and there was a significant difference in power between the two. Yeah, so it's going to be a whitewash. No, 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 no disrespect to Sam Safiri. I think no. he's an, an amazing ball, and I've seen his feats in the past, which is it was ridiculous what he was doing at the time. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, unbelievable! Super God, if you can go go back and check out Sam Safiri after today's <laughs> event which is awesome. And then we've got Marcus Atiri doing double duty on the right hand, and he's taking on Grand Tolentino. So excited yep. to see this guy back on the table. I haven't seen him pull in a match since Arnold's 2019. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when you look at um, the physicalities of these two athletes, you're going to immediately think it's a mismatch. Because you've got Grant Tolentino, who's roughly or just under 85 kilos, and then Marcus Atira, who's arguably 150 kilos, give or take. <clears throat> so huge, huge uh, difference in weight. Uh, look, going into this, uh, I thought, okay, Marcus, yes, heavy favourite. Grant has been training hard, and he's been very, very discreet about his training, and he says that he's feeling good and that he's ready. So this could be, I mean, it may not happen, but this could be a huge upset if Grant brings the goods today. I'm, I'm, but I want Grant. I want Grant. I want Grant to win, so I'm going to pick him. Yep. Yeah. Are you going with the upset, <clears throat> or do you think that the 915 kilo Marcus Atiri is yeah. just going to boulder over him? I do believe, look... I do believe Marcus's hand will be too much. Uh, and unless Grant is able to really control Marcus's hand, his side pressure is just going to feel ridiculous. And Murray, you know, firsthand um, how strong uh, Marcus is. Yeah. And even without hand control, he can still drive yeah, through seemingly. Either. No, he doesn't. So Grant really needs to bring the goods today. And I hope that he does. But yeah, good luck yeah. to both of them. All right. And who's your tip, Mario? I think it's going to be Marcus. Marcus. I really do, yeah. You made, yeah, you made him have to, human. You made him human. I reckon Grant will have to finish it quick, but I don't think he's got that finishing power Ooh, that, that no. you need to beat Marcus, unless Grant rips out a flop press when Marcus falls into that Kings. Now, have you guys ever felt these Kings? No. No, I haven't actually. No, it, feel, it feels like it's concrete at one point. Where you, you just can't move it no matter how hard you try. Oh. Yeah. Unless you come in for a flop, which is a different story. And I don't think he knows how to transition properly yet if, if his opponent flops. Yeah. Because he's and a this is way and extended and open. And this but, is where it gets interesting as well, because at this stage, Marcus still has holes in his game. That's right. <clears throat> and if he can exploit them, there could be a real match there, but it just goes to, it really goes down to what Grant's going to do and if he's going to capitalise on any mistakes <clears throat> that oh. Marcus makes. So 
It yeah. is going to be. Oh, it's going. It's going to be a ripper, mate. It, it is going to be a, an absolute pearly just to see. You know, at the uh, at one stage, Marcus Latiri couldn't be touched, and then Mario Tembarkas just turned to me and said, "Hold my beer, watch this," and just went bang and absolutely destroyed him. Now there's five minutes until the first matchup. This is where the live stream will go a bit weird because I'm going to try and get the live stream and. I'm no good with technology, so it'll look a bit patchy at the moment, but I'll make sure we start seeing the matches on this screen at the moment. Good to see Chan Shaw has jumped in and Cobra Rhodes is still here, arm wrestling Japan. There's so many people from all over the world that has jumped in, and I'm so excited. And now, get your tips in now. We've got 290 votes. 59% of you are saying Lachlan Adair is going to win, leaving, oh, it's show 40, 58% now to 42%. 291 votes. Everyone in the chat, tell me who's going to win. And Andy and Mario are going to break this match down. And as they do that, we may lose them because I will try and get, when, uh, when I get the live feed given to me, and chuck it on the screen for everyone. And hopefully I can work it all out. Otherwise... Enjoy the ride. Boys, who is winning this matchup? Yeah, so Lachlan Adair will win. I'm very confident that he will. Uh, <clears throat> now, a lot of people look at this match and think, okay, it's going to be a case of um, power versus technique and power being Lachlan and technique being Ryan, which is actually just a... It, it's not an accurate depiction of either of them. Blue is technical, but he's also very strong. Lachlan's very strong, but he's actually very, very technical. And I don't know why people aren't giving him the credit that's due. He's very refined. He trains very specifically and in a very intelligent way. He's very tight with his body and has multiple avenues that he can win. <clears throat> and he's even called this out to Blue with, um, that, you know, Blue is limited in his directions that he can move. Lachlan, I do believe, has many ways that he can win if something doesn't work. <clears throat> Ooh, so, wow. yeah. But, oh, look, I spoke to... Um, I got some final comments from both of these athletes just this morning. Blue said that he's feeling great, he's injury-free, and he's ready. Lachlan, pretty much the same thing. He's very confident that he's just going to be able to disengage Blue, take him out of his any avenue that he thinks that he has, and then it's just going to be a whitewash from there. Both athletes feeling very, very confident in themselves. At the end of the day, anything can happen. So all we can really do is speculate and just sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, it's, going, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. I can't wait for this main event. Good to see these two back on the table doing what they do best. Mario. Mario, Mario, give us your words of wisdom. I still stand by my prediction that Blue is going to win. I don't think it's going to be even close to a whitewash. It might even go to that seventh round or eighth round that we're, that they're sort of, you know, that, that, the, that match setup is sort of leading towards. But um, I, I reckon the only thing that Ryan's got over Lachlan is the the X factor of arm wrestling. Mm. It's it's a combination of controlling the refs, controlling the game. Something that Lachlan, I don't see Lachlan doing much. Uh, manipulating the strap. Uh, you know, w w what does he call it? Wizardry? He's wizardry. Wizardry. <laughs> wizardry. He's got that. He's also got timing and execution. I'm not saying that Lachlan doesn't have it. I'm just saying I've seen Ryan prove that he has it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we are going to see Lockie tap into a lot of those things just because of the way that he does train with everyone around him that's significantly weaker than him. He's really not showcasing what his capabilities are. And I think he's also being quiet about the way that he's filling in these holes and and things that he should be working on. So, yeah. Now, before we get into it and I do a bit of a, a, a play around with the screen and hope for the best, uh, Josh Bark had a $2 super chat earlier. He was talking about that um, Ethan has lost to SK uh, recently in a matchup. That was a pretty good match. Yeah, yes, he has. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He has. That was right. Deborah <clears throat> Gibson has come in uh, with a $5 super chat. She thinks, I think, Ryan Bowen. Let's go, Brandon. And... 
Do you think Travis is embarrassed <laughs> about his cliff pressure. lip? Do you think Travis is embarrassed about his cliff lip? Is Paul Atelier legally a dwarf? Uh, I don't think Travis. Thank you, Deborah, for your contributions and singing around. No, I don't think uh, Travis is embarrassed about anything. I think he's pretty confident. Um, yeah, things like that. Yeah, and I don't actually. I I've spoken to Paul here and there, but I don't know how tall he is. But he doesn't look the tallest. What do you guys quickly? Think? <laughs> I mean, so Travis real, does. Real reserved. <laughs> Yeah, Travis has called himself pretty on many occasions, so I don't think he's going to get a let a cleft lip get the better of him. And do you guys know As for Paul, Paul Italia? Italia? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've obviously him. never met him, but yeah, no, no of him. And um, while I don't think he's a dwarf, I don't think he's the tallest human being. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get to these super chats in a moment. Actually, guys, can you check on your screen if we've got a live stream ready to go? And then I'll start fiddling around on my end. And then I'll yeah, get through sex, these man. super chats. White Wolf with a five little super chat says, okay, you've got the boat in the house. The best of all time being Devin, wanting to know what time... Uh, Blue was pulling, and then he's got one, John wins, two, Devon wins, go. He wants to know who your tip is out of Devon and John Brzezink. <laughs> yeah, you go first. <laughs> For me, yeah. John, go first. John's very confident. I love the confidence going in, but that Devon that turned up to King of the Table 2 is the best in the world. That Devon that turned up to King of the Table 2 beats LeVar, in my opinion. Okay, okay. Mm, interesting. So I think that the Devon that turned up to um, Michael Todd 2, <clears throat> I think he wouldn't quite beat Levan. However, a, fir- a 330-pound Devon, Pancake Devon, would arguably beat Levan. It just depends. But going back to Devon and John, I, I, can't, I can't see John winning. I, I just can't. Yeah. Unless an ill-prepared... Uh, lazy Devin rocks up. I can't see John winning. While John did get the last pin on Devin at WoW 2015, Devin still wasn't in tip-top shape due to a few surgeries that he had. And I think a lot's changed since then. John's only getting older. And look, I don't. I just can't see it. So, Mario, your tip? John versus Devin? It all depends. It, it all depends on what shape Devin's coming in. Yeah. Realistically, I mean, for the Michael Todd match, he spent months preparing, right? Months and months yep. preparing for that match. And he even said to himself, he can't maintain that 300 pounds. No, well, no it, can't, it can't be happy. He can't. Uh, has, has Blue gone live? Do you, if you guys have a play around? Uh, I haven't. I haven't seen anything. Hey. I've, no, I've, I'm just waiting for it. Yeah, maybe refresh and see. There you go. If he's still waiting, then we are still waiting. Otherwise, um, check Brayside Kraken's Arm Wrestling Club on Facebook, but then that'll make things tricky for us. Uh, a couple more Super Chats to go through. Micah, Mika, 499 Super Chat. Ryan has enough power to put Lachlan away on the go. In and out of the straps, mark my word. Mika is very confident that Blue gets the job done. And then Alex Willett Arm Wrestling says, Australia isn't real. Hashtag stay woke. Look, he is real. Australia is real. <laughs> Just not that fun at the moment. So three of Australia's best at the moment trying to make Australia win. Guys, let me know in the chat. One, who's winning, Blue or Ryan? <coughs> also, get an early tip in for December. John versus Devon. It is going to be fantastic. Uh, you may just see, uh, I'm just going to try something, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you see Annie and Mario disappear, do not freak out. I'm just going to try something in order to see if I can get something going on. So, uh, mm. which will be very interesting. Because I, yeah, I want to get the the live stream happening. No, I can't see anything coming up yet. Okay. So it's just started. Has it? Okay, not bad. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be the hard bit. Okay, maybe not. 
I reckon. Here we go. I'm going to go with the arm refereeing. Yeah, uh, I've got Abe on. That's all right. So uh, let me just sort something out. So if I do that. Now let's hope this works. If I click back on that. No. Oh, no. Okay. We have run into a slight hiccup. Because I need to make sure... I don't know how to get Mario and Andy back on the TV. Hmm. This, no, see, I'm trying to window captures, guys. But <clears throat> if I click on Andy and Mario, then the matches disappear. So I'm trying to, uh, trying to figure out how to get this going. Because you guys have now disappeared. But we've got the matches there. Um... Really? Yeah. So. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then, if I go and click on like <laughs> you guys to keep you keep you going, like if I click it there, now my matches have disappeared. Okay. okay. So this is live TV. No idea how to do this, guys. I'm trying to think because I want Annie and Mario sticking with me. How do we get this going? Uh. People still saying about the all right, live stream. I just went out there and checked too. <laughs> it's not mine. Okay. So, guys, while I've got Andy and Mario disappeared, can you still hear them in the chat if they talk? Repulsive Gra Gravity says, whose fire alarm needs a battery? Oh, what happened there? Oh, hang still on. Still again with the fire alarm. Let me just try something. No. I think we're back. Oh, no. It flickered for two seconds. Hang on. Oh, you've got something happening. I'm watching the live. Oh, and then we, we disappeared. Hang on. Oh, there you disappeared. Go. Hang on. Hopefully, I've got something right. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm going to make, make the match screen bigger. i just got to work out. I don't know how, how to get us all on there. Okay. I've worked it out, guys. I've worked it out. Mario and Andy start talking. Guys, can you let me know if you can still hear Mario and Andy? Mace left arm. Great again. Let me know in the chat. You guys keep talking. And yep. I'm just going to have a play me? around on the screens. You guys will disappear mm. for a little bit before the first match starts. Because i just going to do that. Going to do that. Let's get you there. Nice. All right, so I need it. All righty, guys. Live TV. How good is it? Oh, is everyone... Oh, let's make Andy a bit bigger. <laughs> He's already too big. All righty. Our first match is getting underway. This is live TV, guys. Don't worry about it. We'll sort it. Now, if I do that, boys, and then I go to here and I do that, let me check if this live stream is looking good as, a, as I have a bit of a play around. But that is okay. And then I will just... All right, while you're doing that, Jake, we can see uh, John on the left and Alexander on the right taking their grip, tongue ready to say go, squaring up the shoulders. Beautiful. Nice little slip there. Last predictions, guys. Uh, I'm still sticking Beautiful. with Joel on the left. So at the moment, yeah, I'm me too. what I am watching is they're doing the strap. That's what I can see. This is the first time we've tried this, guys. So bear with us. We absolutely love it. So I've got a match already going now. They're all pulling and uh, Alexander just went bang. That's what I saw straight up. What are you guys seeing? Because, yeah. I think you're good. Alrighty. We are ready to go. 
Bang. I need another. Right. Someone turn their volume down. <laughs> okay, because yeah. I. So I think what we're seeing. So are you guys watching this on the uh, on YouTube? Or are you watching on the Facebook Live yep. feed itself? I was, uh, well, I was watching it off YouTube Blue's channel. I was watching it off Blue's channel to get it. Okay. All right. To get to get it going, but then I'm on my phone. I think I'm just gonna have to miss <laughs> reading the comments and things like that because yeah, because if I move my arrow, I lose you guys. That's the only thing which we don't want to do. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> So I'm going to click, I'm going to get this and uh, let's get back into it. So call the action guys while I just set up what I'm doing here. Beautiful. I love, you got over it So there. we just saw Alexander take off round one. Yeah, I've got, yeah. So I've just had round, was that round right. two? Yeah, where... Uh... Where right hand, the right, the guy on the right went uh, into a flop press. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, so what I'm watching here. now is we get it all together, guys. I've got no one on stage here. So yeah, I'm watching off blue mm. stream. All right, then we should all watch off blue stream just so we're all on the same page. Yeah, and then if anyone, yeah. uh, but then our stream, you know, our stream's a bit delayed, right? Yeah, our stream would be. So if we all if we all watch it, if the three of us watch it off our stream, then it, then everyone else will just have to press, you know, play and whatnot. So I think we all go off all go off our stream. So let me go back to it. Yeah. So then I can keep reading the comments and getting everyone. Alrighty. Let's get into it. So at the moment, I've got Tom Iglesias on the, and an empty table. We think we just had our first matchup done with Alexander getting getting and destroying. That's that's what I've seen. So yeah, we're about 30 yep. seconds behind, Blue. So yep. if you are staying with us and watching and you want our commentary on this stream, stay with us. Obviously, we, yeah, when you move it all. So we look like we're into round three of this matchup. If you guys are watching the same thing as me, I've got Joel on the left, sporting the forwards hat, which is very rare in the sport of arm wrestling, and Alex in the yellow t-shirt on the right. That's what I've got. What have you guys got? Yep, agreed. There's something wrong with your connection, Andy. You're getting a bit choppy. Mario, you're fine. So I'm not sure what's going Wait, on. Wait, are we talking about his, uh, his mic being a bit crunchy? Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. also coming in and out. Yeah, we All seem right. to be... Is it getting any better now? Uh, a, a little a little bit, a little bit, but we'll see see how we go because we want to start mic. banging in right, so, under so commentary. Just double checking. We've got... Joel on the left, forward hat, yeah, yep. straps on, Tom Tom negotiating grip, yep. Yeah, see, I've, we're yeah. on the same page. I've got the bottom rep in the way of the TV. Nice. I think this is how, how it's going to go. That's all right. I'll just we'll just try and figure it out in a moment. But I'll just call what I'll I see. I think I'm behind. Everyone out, but it is looking good. Alex is the one looking to dominate. I don't think Joel has expected. I think this was a late change, and Alex was a last-minute call-up. As when we first received the card, Joel didn't have a left-hand matchup. I probably would have just scrapped it, considering it was a massive card. Uh, but here we go. Let's. We're into it. Yeah, Alex is just holding him. There's no. There's no movement coming from Joel, and Alex just goes bang. And I think we are done for the first match. Um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how how this goes and how everyone uh, in the chat is is going along with it. Um, yeah, very very interesting. If I keep moving and changing, but I've got Mario 
and Andy with me. Andy, what have we got here? The matches, the mat. So what I'm seeing is the match is done. Abe just gave it, gave a handshake, and we are up and about. Yep. Yep. Cool, guys. You might have to pause and adjust your TV. We're just gonna have to go. And he's wearing the Aussie R wrestler shirt. Bang! Jamie Barry, you <laughs> yes, he is. Give me a win, <laughs> you absolute superstar. He automatically wins this match because he will dominate. Bang! How good is this? Yeah. Barry, <laughs> he knows Ethan too. Johnson, <laughs> on your right, Ethan Johnson sporting the four inoculars. Jamie in a much better position. Watch him take this match up. Beyond excited. Beyond excited on this one. Thanks for everyone for hanging out with us. But my man Jamie Barrett on the left is ready to get it done. And as you got three Aussies just getting a bit excited for this matchup. Jamie Barrett wanting to get it all what, done. What are we thinking? Are we thinking gone into quick hook slip. drag to the pin? What are we thinking? I just think uh, I just think Jamie overpowers him in this one. He's going to drag him back. He's going to take him in. He's going to go bang. And he's going to look at the camera and go bang with that amazing shirt that he is wearing. That's right. Looks like People in the comments are sideways. That he is wearing an awesome shirt. Watch the power from Jamie Barrett on this one. Going to be... Unreal. People in the chat are recognising that super powerful shirt that Jamie Barrett's wearing as we are in round one, match two of our 15 match super card with the main event being Ryan Bowen and Lachlan Adair. You are with the Aussie arm wrestler and I am joined by Andy and Mario from the Andy and Mario show. They are keen and wanting to get things done as we are in round one of match two. Yeah. Jamie looking to have a really good setup in this round. He looks solid. You keep popping, you keep popping yeah. in and out there, there, Andy. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with your internet at the moment, mm. which is quite frustrating. But that is live TV, and I think Jamie Barrett just took round one by the looks of it. Good to see everyone in the chat, which is awesome. Hanging around, and it's good to see. I think Blue's got thousands of people on his channel watching, which is awesome. And we've got a few people hanging out with us, which I'm really happy cool. about. So, as so, we've got these. So, just letting you know, I'm watching the stream, and um, our commentary is late compared to the footage. So, I think we have to watch it from directly from Bowen's stream. Okay. And then we just talk. I, I, okay, I and then that. it should pair up nicely. It should pair up nicely when it's coming out on your channel, Jake. Oh, he's just, I've just seen. Oh, Jamie just gave me a shout out. Don't even get me started. All right. Well, I will chuck Blue Stream on my phone. Yeah. Because then, um, yeah, I'll just miss out yeah. on a lot of the comments. Uh, where have we got? Yep, ja Jamie just pressed Ethan off the go. Um, can you guys in chat confirm that that's happened just now? Yeah, you'll have to let me know if anyone super chats or any interesting questions, Mario, because, yeah. Alrighty, so, yeah, so I've got Jamie on the left shaking shaking his hand. My man, I just caught him giving me a bloody awesome Aussie arm wrestler. Gave me a shout out. What a genuine superstar. <laughs> So, yeah, I've got Jamie on the left. I have it. Ethan's not there. He's not there. So, yeah, so I'm back on Blue Stream. So, hopefully. Yeah, Andy, jump on Blue Stream. So, um, as our commentary goes, it pairs up with the footage that's coming out on Jake's channel. Yeah. All righty. Well, you guys sort that oh, out. That a bit, a bit of a mess here. about. Jamie, just, yeah, yeah Ethan, mate. Take those binoculars off. You leave my friend Jamie alone. He is about to destroy this one. He is super excited. So I'm yeah, so I'm on a mobile phone watching the live the live stream. So hopefully I'm I'm with it. But it's going to be a rip up. We are in the next round. Jamie looking high, looking to get it. This will probably go into a slip. I hope Jamie can hold on so it doesn't go into a slip. I think I think, I think Jamie shuts shuts him down, turns Ethan Palmer. No? Alright. He just did it before in round two. 
Beautiful. So he is going for a clean sweep of this one. This is going to be unreal. Unreal. Get it done, Jamie. And then the Aussie arm wrestler shirt stays undefeated for today. That's, you know. <laughs> Let's get into it. Get out of the way, bottom ref. Shout out to Tom Iglesias, who refs just about every single event that is to be done. Yeah. Referees are awesome. So we are getting into this one. Round three of match two of this Super Series card, Powerhouse Gold Coast arm wrestling, able to just really, really help us out and able to provide this one. Mario, take over, mate. Get this round going. All right, let's see. Jamie's been hitting sideways and cupping in and supernating as hard as he can, which is a signature move, but it seems like Ethan's carrying, carrying that with a high post and lots of pronation, but uh, not this time. <laughs> Holding Well, they in. should have called that foul unless it's running, but... Jamie, you are holding on the wrong good, side. Yeah, good effort, Ethan. Yeah, oh, keep good fighting. Effort. He knows he's beat. He's lost his hand. Keep fighting, Ethan. Keep getting it done. Just try and find some holes. Don't forget to hold on to the peg. Let's go, Jamie. Get the job done. You could have given me some free advertising by holding him in round two, but let's not split hairs in this one. And he goes, I think bang. that was 3-0. And wins the clean sweep 3 0 as we get that one done. And Andy's leading the tipping 2 to 1. As Andy was the okay. only one that picked Alex in the first round. Jamie looking sweet and in that shirt as well. He gets himself a nice little package and a nice little super match win. Jamie, your big legend. Now, that's two matches done. Two matches. Oh, oh Blue's go. got the Aussie Art Wrestling Here shirt we go. on. What a shirt! <laughs> oh, He's got the shirt. Yes! This is magnificent. Andy, get involved. I'm getting a beer. That deserves a beer. <laughs> <laughs> a bit over Alrighty, two guys. Fuck. So, just to clarify, am I any less choppy at the moment? Just because I don't want to be talking too much if I'm just going to be causing some frustrations. No, you sound good to me. Awesome. So, as you can see here, Tommy Glazier. He's probably just the dad of arm wrestling. He's just loved <laughs> by everyone. <laughs> so we're on to match three now. So no, so uh, yes, match three: Josh Burnett versus Joel Torini. So Joel Torini just lost his left hand match at the start. So he's going to be hungry, look for some sort of redemption. <clears throat> Josh Burnett, the youngest of the oh, Burnett brothers, looking really good. Smiling straight into yeah. his hook. There Didn't even goes. have to King's hook. Easy win there, round one. Hang on, was that an elbow foul? Yeah, called, called a running elbow yes. on that one. Okay, yep. So, <clears throat> can Joel do anything differently? No. I think this is a pure mismatch in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, That is a seriously nice drive. From yeah. Josh, and he's not even reverting Very to nice. his um to his hook either, or that sorry, yeah. the king's hook. Mate, that was yep. yeah, pure power. I like the way the Burnets go about it. That was a yeah, really good round one. Really good round one. So, so go on, Andy. Moving forward, it's going to be hard for Joel to do anything here. It looked like he's exhausted all options inside already. So, to me, the only thing he can do is arguably top roll. I don't know if Joel does top roll. If he doesn't, he really doesn't have any avenues left. <clears throat> Plus, we do know that um, Josh, in the styles that he does pull, can pull in these long matches. <clears throat> so, it really is hard to go up against someone who's seemingly stronger than you and has more endurance. So... This next match is really going to tell us a lot <clears throat> and whether or not Joel has anything left to yeah, give. Yeah, he's always, they've got into a hook, but I think uh, he looks real yeah. comfortable in this one. Josh is comfortable. He's just wanting some TV time and he drags him down as he plonks himself on the yep. beanbag and gets nice. the pin on that one. 2-0 yep. on that one. I'm just got, yeah. Let, oh no, was that another fair? I believe so. Fowl on Josh, he must have come, back, yep. come past the back of the pad. And as you can see here, really what's making all the difference is the amount of rotation Josh has in contrast to Joel here. So 
it may seem like Josh is just much, much stronger, but all it takes is um, some slight advantage in just his pronation in that deep hook, which can make all the difference. So I think Josh denying Joel's pronation in that really yeah. stuffed him up. 100%. So, 100%. Yeah. I think yeah, Josh might have just lost his arm ground strength. on a second elbow foul. Or are they having... Oh, no, no he just won it. Giving him Matthew, he's one minute. Yep. Beautiful round three. Josh Burnett just getting the bickies there. So far, it's been 3 0, 3 0. Josh Burnett and Joel is looking like a 3 0 as well. That's the last thing you, you, you don't really want, especially with starting off the card. Good for us because it gets us closer to the main event. With it Ryan does. And Lockie and Ryan is sporting the sexiest shirt in the arm wrestling world. And so is my man, Jamie Barrett. We're in the round three of this action. He's looking good. Yep. Josh Burnett just doing what he does best. Joel thinking he can get in there, but it's not even close as they go into a pretend slip. Just guys, if you want to go to the straps, just say it straight away. Get stuck in. 100%. I mean, I know Andrew Lee from the House of Pain. We know how much this annoys him when people slip after saying they don't want to go into straps. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. Um, so... So Chris in our comments saying commentary's ahead by 10 seconds roughly. So I'm just reverting back 10 seconds on blue string. So okay, so if I pause blue string, string for okay. 10 seconds, we might match up. Uh, you could just you could just hover over the uh, that that the bar and just click negative 11. Oh yeah, negative I just went back 10 11. seconds. So yeah, that's I... it. Has so, anyone given Tom, any super chats? How many people do we still have in the chat, Mario? Thanks, Chris, for letting us know. Sorry, super chats. I've been, I have not been. No, that's all right. We'll go, go back. How many people are in the chat? As we get into this one, there was a big press in from Joel, but the young boy who's barely got his pen license has just gone bang, 3 0 in this <laughs> one. Taking it. it was quite interesting uh, in that uh, matchup. Joel unfortunately gets pinched 3 0 both times. Great win for Burnett. It'll be interesting now. He needs to really find some competition in his division. Otherwise, he's just going to keep pulling his two brothers on that one. We are into one. Could be the match of the day. Match four on yeah, this one. I'm really, really looking forward to this one. This really looking forward to it. Rodian yeah. versus Nick. Thank you for a run that kept the patience. And he's staying with the Aussie arm wrestler, Andy and Mario, throughout the day. At the moment, I cannot read your comments in order to make this work. So I hope everyone is sticking around in the chat. And I will thoroughly go back and work out comments and super chats and things like that at this stage. But I've got it all working on our stream. We seem to be lining up now. I'll tell you what. Oh, just give me two seconds. I'm going to go over there. A lot of people saying let's go, Brandon. Yeah, 112 viewers. Cool, beautiful. And then I'll come back and then hopefully Andy and Mario are back on the TV after two seconds off. Beautiful. So we are in the match four, guys. Are you going to change your mind? We've got Rodian and Nick. I'm going to go for Hot Rod. You both have picked Nick Burnett. What do we think? Oh, oh no. This is a different no. match. Oh, maybe, maybe someone hasn't turned up yet. Okay. This looks so, like... This is um Johnny Stowers and Jake yeah, and Jake. Jake. Yep. There you go. So they've jumped. Okay. I've never seen these blokes before. Yeah. So Jake has um, quite a long lever on him. I'm going with Jake Day on this one because he has a sweet name. An absolute sweet name. And Johnny Sowers is just hanging in there. Our 80s action cops are ready to go head-to-head -head in this one. Tom Iglesia, he's actually sitting back. Who is that other ref? There's the hit. The read oh, from the Sowers. He's trying oh, he and win. he's just made a meal. The readjust, the re-grip. I like the movement around there from Sowers. Jake Day is just relying on bicep they, and those two do look fresh underhand. too. I don't think I've ever seen an arm wrestle before. They do look very, yeah. very fresh. Yeah, I think that's what has <laughs> happened. That no, was well, still a good match though. Quick finish. It was. Yeah. As oh. long as we get some safe matches here, I'm happy. That's all that matters. Uh, I've got all the faith in the world in Powerhouse and what they are providing, especially at the titles last year. The three of us were there. And everything went out, uh, went without a without a hitch. So one nil going see. to Johnny Boy. Jakey Day not really having a good day here in this one. 
But we are going into round two. Uh, let us know in the comments, guys. Can Jake Day come back? Or the backwards hat bandit? Or has Johnny just got too much? I did enjoy Johnny's regripping. I did enjoy the way he was moving about on the table where Jake was a bit more just anchoring that elbow in the table. So let's see how round two goes. Joining us here. We'll get, we'll get into it. So I think Jake Day is just going to look to pull and drag towards him. We'll see how this is going. It looks a bit more on Jake's side of the table. Johnny Sarah. Here we go. Going. And Jake has come oh. back. Hey! Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Getting the jump. And very interesting because you guys were talking about it earlier and you both mentioned it about how important the starts are. And you said throughout a number of the matches, even though people are going against bigger and stronger opponents, the start is so important and you just saw it there from Jake Day. Today is a Jake Day, I think. He has just come 1-1 one, one in round. Oh, no. Was, was that a fair? Yep. So we got a re restart here. Oh. Oh, I jumped the gun, as usual. Take care of it, Andy. Tell us the go. action. All right. And again, another flash pin from Jake. It looks like he has Johnny worked out. <clears throat> Much more side pressure and topo orientated this time, whereas round one uh, did seem to be moving more towards a hook, uh, just without too much risk flexion. So Are it you looks... looking round one still? Uh, so, I don't think so. You saw in round one because round two just happened, and yeah, no, Jake Andy's ten won. seconds ahead. Andy's ten seconds ahead. Oh. no, I went back ten seconds, so I should be where you guys are. I'm, I'm looking at an empty table right now. Yeah, I've got a, oh, yeah, I've got an empty too. table at the moment. Yeah, so it's one all currently. That's all right. So what we'll do, Mario, you yep. take, you start calling round three. We'll go from here. And then we'll see if we're all lined up. Take care of round three, Mario. All right. Well, I'm looking at an empty table at the moment. So, <laughs> yep. So, tell right, us so here, Mario. I'm, I'm calling. Show. I don't know who Johnny and Jake are, right? I believe Jake is the tall guy with the backwards hat, and yep. Johnny is the yep. subway man. So, yep. so what right. would they both be thinking, Mario? They both had dominant wins Look, on each side. Right now, right now, as a newbie. And I've experienced this. They're probably going through a phase where it's called lizard brain, where they're not thinking anything, mm -hmm. right? They're just gripping hard and just driving, which is not a bad thing. All right, so it's kicked off. Nice. He's coming with that press again since from round one. All right, it's just backwards and forwards, this match. <laughs> oh. So I think it's 2-1 at the moment. Uh, Johnny's way. Jeez, yeah. So Johnny has just taken... Round two is Abe, the best corner man in the business, mate. You can't be running an event and then getting super excited if someone wins, mate. That's a bit yeah, conflict. If, if Abe's in your corner, you're winning. Oh, appears the match That's is it. done. Appears the match is done. They've given him packs and medals and everything. If, if we miss a, maybe it was a best of three because they were new. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. A best That's of what it looked like. A best of three. Best of three if they're new. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's a good. That's a that's good. Well, especially good the way Jake finished in that last one, just like just tried to throw the get out of jail free card for Monopoly, and his arm just went all over the shop. Now, before the next guys come, I'm just going to go over and check to see if people <coughs> in the commentary. Yeah, so people, it's good to see people are hanging around. Thanks for joining us, guys, and thanks for giving us um, updates about how we're going. This is the first time the three of us have tried it. We really appreciate. You guys sticking by us and things like that. Check it out. Go check out Andy and Mario after this. Hit the subscribe button there. Now we are in to the... Oh, they're throwing us around here. Is this... Uh, it must be It must be Aiden and Jared, I'm guessing. This is what it looks like, yeah. One yeah. of them looks like a semi side. So I wonder what's happened to the Rodian nick Burnett match. So we've got Jared Zajak taking on Aiden semi Sarge Lemu on this one. Another one nice. with the backwards hat. Nothing wrong with the backwards hat. If you don't mind me very much, I'm down with that one. So we are into round one. Two big units. Look like more people heading into the heavyweight division, which is great. More feeder people for Mario and Andy. They've gone bang. Oh, here we stuck. go. Get up. Yep. Get up. We're not having a double kings. And he's come no. and almost fallen nah. over. So I up. think they allow about two seconds or three seconds to stand up. If they get pinned in that time, it still counts. 
Ah, there you go. So, so yeah. that's what happens. I just wanted to get up so we didn't have a double Kings move. That's all. So Absolutely. One yeah. nil to the back of that like guy. That. I'm not too sure. Someone, if... someone lick this stream to Engen, please. <laughs> <laughs> That, that would have been hilarious. So now we are in to round two as they go to their corner. So, uh, Andy, I'll start with you. Do you think a minute yep. in between rounds is not long enough, too long, or just the ma- right amount of time? I think, yeah, between 45 and 60 seconds is a substantial and efficient amount of time. <clears throat> you want to keep the matches moving. You don't want to wait around all day. But in saying that, 45 seconds to a minute, just enough to get some sort of oxygen back in those muscles, get the blood moving. Um, you know, you can tell the difference between doing one match and then you can imagine getting straight into the next one 15 seconds later versus a minute. Just gives them a little bit of a rest and can really change the outcome of the match. So now, I think it's right on the money. Now, Mario, you, you, you both have been very, uh, you both are very uh, experienced in the arm wrestling world. Have you ever started a match in an actual agreed grip? I know in all of my matches and tournament matches, maybe because I'm looking for it, I've never started in an agreed grip. If I'm happy, I'll just say go. Just say go. Yeah. Okay, because I yeah. cause sometimes it can just take a bit too long. You've got 30 seconds here, you've got a minute there, and I just want to get the action going, which is something that we are looking at the moment. We are ready for round two. I think that is Mark refereeing in this one too. Oh, no. Bang! Get up! Oh. Straight into a double kings. Oh, my God. And we've got to pin. He's pinned him a couple of times. I think I'm going to vomit if I see that for a third time in a row. Boys, as this as we go on to the to the next round, what are your thoughts on the double kings? Oh, I hate it. <laughs> it's so disgusting when both people pull it because you don't know what's going to happen. And you know you're genuinely going to be in, in for a long match potentially. So oh, yeah, I don't I don't mind the king's move. Just police it well, and it's fine. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. That's oh no, it. it looks like an elbow foul. So we might get another double king's move. Oh my god, my breakfast just might come up in this one. Bang! And the hits happen. <laughs> He's trying yeah. to stand up. What have we got here? It looks like a. N- he kept good yep. form this time, which yes. is he did. It's good. That's good. It's a good match, pin. especially if they're new too, which they are. Beautiful. That pin is done. So it'll be interesting to see what the uh, who is who, if anyone can let us know in the chat. Guys, if you can keep an eye on the chat as we get into round three. Everyone that is sticking around with us, I cannot thank you enough. I'm so excited that so many people are interested in arm wrestling. Ooh, um, I don't know how many people are in our chat. You know, there's 1,500 just watching the stream itself on Blue's channel. And then while they're in a round, I'm just going to move cameras here. We've got about 110 people in our chat, uh, live on TV stream. You're about 20 seconds behind, guys. Yeah, we're not... Yeah, it's all new to us. We're giving it a go, but stick with us. If you guys have got a pause or we got a pause, we're trying We're trying everything. But thank you, everyone, the 100 people that are hanging around. Hit the like button. We're on the beers. We're all having a bit of fun. Let me get back to Annie and Mario so they're back on the live stream. We've got round three. Round three in this one. This could be another three-nil match. Now, if you're a promoter, Andy, how does that that go for you when you first one, two, three, four, five matches of three-nil? Yeah, I mean, so far we haven't really seen any close matches. We're seeing a lot of fighting between between each, but we really aren't seeing matches that are really stopping and and are, and are going both ways. So it's at the moment it's just one sided. So arguably, everyone wants to see good matches. You want close, cutting edge matches, and if it's just whitewash after whitewash, it can take the excitement out of it. So hopefully we can see some longer matches in there just to change it up a little bit. Well, I thought my stomach was going to churn after I just saw what I just saw. Another 3-0 and that last-ditch effort and he got into like a really awkward bad Kings move. There's like a good Kings move and this one was just yuck. So we do... Yeah, I think I did see an elbow float up too. I think I saw a few elbows float up. But that's all right. We are getting into it. Guys, we are just not... the, The good thing for us and especially everyone in the chat that loves arm wrestling... First of all, it's good to see people in Australia arm wrestling. We are up and about. It's good to see each and every one of you 
in the chat, hanging out, having a bit of a laugh with Andy and Mario and the Aussie arm wrestler. But the good thing for us with these 3-0 matches, they are pumping through them so we can get to our main event. And as you can see, we're on screen and it is all happening. Everyone in the chat might be saying, let's go, Brandon. As we are setting up for the next <laughs> match, I'd like to just go back to the comments. Good to see everyone hanging around. Try again to fix the timing, guys. Here, I don't know how far off we are. It's just going to be all over the shop. We do apologize. Yeah, well, it's going to be trial and error, guys. Yeah. Absolutely. Just let us know what you think, and we'll just keep reverting back 10, yep. 15, 20 seconds, whatever we have to, yeah. just so it's, yep. it's good on your end. Uh, uh, sure. Are we yep. behind? Are we ahead? We're just loving it at the moment. This next sure. matchup. Is a, we've got a long head bandit. We've got another yep, King's we've move got coming Andrew in. Andrew and Jacob. Andrew Johnson and Jacob on the right hand. Yep. Yep. And Beautiful. Just, That's yeah. what it looks like. So which one's the tuxedo? Tuxedo's left hand. The guy on the left, sorry. With the long hair. My long hair bandit. The tuxedo With the long goes hair, yeah. bang yeah. and just wins wins round one. That's good. So all the, all the blood's flowing through. They're all up and about. They're all excited. And I don't mind it. It's uh, it, it is good for arm wrestling. I think someone's bumped the camera. Move aside there, the tuxedo. Cut your hair, mate. Cut your hair. Look at these two guys with their <laughs> slick haircut. Mario and Andy know what it's like to have short back and sides like a real man. Was he arm wrestling yet to get haircuts? <laughs> which is the way it is happening. So we're into round two of this matchup, and uh, who's with uh, Andrew Johnston just appears to just be. I mean, the the club. I'm looking at his club shirt, and they look like a new club, the Canberra Club, that have just come up. If I'm reading his shirt right, which is awesome that they're coming up and about for us. But let's see how round two goes. That is a high elbow on the left hand side, happening from the tuxedo, uh, Jacob Tuxworth. Yep. Let's see how he goes in this one. As Mark tries to get the thumbs ready, stop slapping his wrist, and let's get round two going. Ready, bang! And just like that, it is all over. And we are going again into a 3 nil. I'll tell you what, as someone changes to the Discovery Channel, because I think we're just watching whitewashers all day here. The, broom, <laughs> the cleaning channel is out. The broom is happening. 3 nil. So, Mario, you're down 2 nil now. If you are Andrew Johnston, what are you thinking? I haven't been paying attention to the match. I've been trying to get this timing right for all of us. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I haven't, so, I is Andy... That's Andrew's right, Andy. So, you did 2 nil. Yep. And yep, yep. You're, you're so... Andrew, you're Andrew Johnson. What are you thinking? <clears throat> Look, um, when you are, obviously, down 2-0, um, and you've pretty much only got... This is your last chance to stay in the game. Yeah. Like Mario said before, especially if you're young, inexperienced, lizard brain, you're going to be overthinking, you're going to be critical of yourself, you're going to not know exactly where you need to go. What he needs to do is just take a deep breath, think about exactly what he needs to do to win this and try it. If he's thinking and he's all over the place, he's not going to you know, facilitate a plan and action it. So he just needs to calm down, take a step back, think about what he needs to do and head in that direction and don't fray from it. So, so it's very... Go ahead. Sorry, man. It looks like we're 10 seconds ahead. Again, so I think we're going to go back 20. So I've got to go so back I've 20 seen... seconds. Go back 20 so I've... seconds. So you just click live on blue stream and then just go back 20. Yeah, that's what I've done. So I've got the start of round three. They're uh, floating about at the moment. You've got the tuxedo on the left with the hair. The match has started. The match is over. <laughs> three nil yeah. bang like that. Are we on time? That's what I just saw, ladies and gentlemen. All right, yeah, handshake happening, collecting his trophy so, and his suspicious bag. I haven't got that yet. I've got that now. Handshake, trophy, give the Aussie arm wrestler a shout. That's what they need to do. Hey, good on, Jamie Barry, you big legend. Wearing the Aussie arm wrestler shirt and then blue, just showing everyone that he needs that extra toughness. So he puts on the shirt of doom. That is for sure. As we get into the next match, I'd like to come over and check the comments. Um, do, yeah, please fix it. Just, I'm spoiling every round. Thank you, Jim. Thank you for that. Uh, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. We haven't got any sound going 
from uh, I don't know if any of you guys have got the sound going. I haven't. No, I'm pretty much muted. Uh, just so it doesn't interfere. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it should always. Yeah, everyone's is muted. Cool. Yeah, people. So where I think you nailed it, um, Andy. Hold on, I'm just watching our live. Yep. Oh, sh- geez, we got another left hand match. It's just looked like a, a dominant ending. I think uh, the Marcus Chapman Ben Stubbins one. I think. Yep. 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 So just round ones just happened. Yeah, that's what I saw, guys. We're, we're trying our best. This is the first time we've we've ever done uh, we've ever done it, so we keep going back. We just keep us posted. Mario's been our bit of a technician and and helping us out. So at the moment, I've got no one on the screen. I've got no one on the screen. We're into round two. Marcus Chapman, Ben Stubbins, and it looked like Ben yep. Stubbins just went. I've got Ben walking up on the stage. Is that correct, everyone? No, I've still yep, got an no. empty. I've got an empty stage. The All refs right. just and then... up. Marcus has now just got to his side of the table. No. Yep, left hand side, yeah. Yep. Yeah, left hand side yep. is right. up. Marcus has just jumped up. They've swapped sides. So you're probably three seconds behind us, Jake. Okay. What's the what's the chat saying? I don't... Negotiating a grip. Yeah. Straightening yep. out wrists. We are about and Alright, set grid, ready. Yeah, I've still got them floating. Alright, looks like we're into rest grip now. Yeah. Closing got... thumbs, closing hands. And we have an elbow foul on the left, We've I got believe, Josh and straight into good. straps. What's Josh that? Good. Is saying it's good. Thanks, man. No, Sweet, so we're finally all synced. Yeah, yep, I'm getting to catch up. They just they're looping the strap around Marcus. Yep, is it? We're all yep. we're on that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I think I'm a couple yeah. of seconds behind, but that's okay. Yeah, if it's just one or two, that's fine, man. That's all right. Let me fire up this land. Let's get everybody in the chat. Thank you for helping us out. Thank you for being legends, helping us, Mario and Andy, Aussie arm wrestler out. We are in round two. Marcus Chapman is on your left hand side. Give us a flex, boys. And then on the right, we've got Ben Stubbins. Just putting the hurt on the chap dog in this one. We are off. Uh, here we go. Here, here we go. go. We've got a match, guys. Marcus with that signature press. Hand off the peg. I believe he's going to get fouled for that. All righty. I'm trying I to play around with the run fouls here. What's happening? Yeah. It's, it's, it's inconsistency. Yeah, this is an issue that... Well, we've had it multiple times, haven't we, over the years? Yeah. Talk yeah. about it, guys. Yeah. Talk about it. What's going on? So, we're not exactly sure what's happening. The refs are talking to each other. Um, both both Marcus and Ben are pretty much awaiting a decision, but it looks like it was an elbow foul, and Marcus is trying to just, well, look like he didn't think it was. So... They, the refs may be talking about whether the match should have continued and they should have done running foul. So I don't know if it's a an actual refing inconsistency or lack of transparency there. But I do believe it's probably going to be a restart without a foul being called. Oh, and on the yep. money. So I've got the strap coming on now in this matchup. Good call, yep. Andy, on yep. that one. Fantastic. So, yeah, good on this ref. It's the first time I've seen this guy ref. We all know Tom is doing yep. his bit for uh, the lovely world of Aussie Army. Thanks, Amateur. chat. Thanks, chat. We, we fucking managed to get the timing right. I think I'll go get another beer. Yeah, good, <laughs> yeah, good work. Thank you to Mario. All righty. So, we, this is still round two. Ben Stubbins wanting yep. to get the job done against Marcus Chapman. He is a quiet, serious dude. Real introvert. He likes to keep to himself. He blasts some music before every single match. He sits there with the with the AirPods. Oh! Bang! Oh! We are off. You can get arrested in a public park if you flash like that again. That is against the law. Ben Stubbins has had enough. It looks like he's going to go to work at Coles after this one. Bang! That was quick. Andy, have you ever been on the receiving end of a flash pin like that? 
Yes, against Ryan Bowen. <laughs> what, does it, what does it feel like? What does it do? Because you are top ten in fun. Australia. You have worked hard. I remember attending a tournament many years ago, and you were a young whippersnapper then, having a crack and doing well. So when someone just gets the advantage and able to finish it in the click of the fingers, what is going through your mind? What happens when that is going? Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot you can really do because you, you're completely disengaged and unable to really set into your strength or your groove. Um, and that's why it happens so quickly. And generally, when someone flash pins, they're quite flaccid or and relaxed in the grip. The harder you grip someone, the harder it is to really flash pin. That's why when you look at WAF um, setups and, and matches, they tend to be really relaxed and then their fast twitch fibers um, kick in and then it's just a, a ridiculously fast uh, pin. But on the receiving end, you really can't do much about it. You've just got to try to make of it what you can and come back and try to prevent it the next time. Whether it's gripping harder, also trying to get the, the jump on the start. But generally, when someone flash pins you, they're probably going to be the faster in general. So, yeah, not a lot you can do. Well, Ben has just gone bang, and we think we're getting at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three nil. Every match has been three nil. Thank you so much, everyone in the chat, hanging out with the Aussie arm wrestler, Andy and Mario from the Andy and Mario Show. Make sure you give them a subscribe. Thank you, everyone, for staying up late wherever you are around the world because we have got Australian arm wrestling on the scene with your main event being Ryan Blue Bowen and the Anvil Lachlan Adair. We are into round three of our matchup here. Ben Stubbins on your left, Marcus Chapman on your right, looking to bounce back. And the hit's there. And Alrighty. Marcus Chapman has got nothing for Ben. Ben is just bored and yeah. wants to get the job done. That is ben how you sit in reason. the middle. Marcus appears to be pulling the wrong way as Ben is just going to itch his way. Gives the old look over and goes, yeah, I want to finish this done. Marcus giving everything, though. I like that Marcus is trying to stay connected. I like that he's pulling towards him. Ben is trying to get in for a press, but he's like, I better just make sure the hit has happened. Let's see what the referee says on this one. Is he going to give a running fair or is he going to give the pin? They've given it the old nuts, I think. That is game over. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Pretty ben much your win, goes three Well nil. done to Ben. Yeah, that was very match. impressive. Very nice. We all, we all lost our tips on that one. <laughs> we did, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and Ben as well being um, a small, quite a significantly smaller frame as well. Um, so he really yeah, he really surprised us all. So well done, Ben. Mate, Ben has just come in and he's gone. Hashtag make left great again. I just want to go check over to the comments. <laughs> Josh Barker, $2 Super Chat, says, early Christmas present, don't spend it all on once. Just, yeah. Oh. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> it's all happening there. Beautiful. I'm just having a quick look. Aussie Arm Wrestler, you going for Neil Pickups, one-liner, Hall of Fame record. <laughs> I love my puns. They are good for the soul. Where are we? Yeah, uh, is the live stream? Yeah, beautiful. That's all right. Got to get me little options up. Beautiful. Uh, awesome, guy. Oh, I, I do love the one-liners. I can't help it. They're good for the soul. They're just amazing. So if you see any of Mario keep flashing in and flashing out, it's because I'm going back and checking the comments from you legends. If there's any good comments, hopefully any of Mario can see the comments and they can yell them out as well. We are in... All righty, guys. So we are into Bob versus Mason McKay. Oh, which one's it. Bob? Bang! Oh, I was I, I was looking a bit, bit one-sided there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, look, the guy in the yellow shirt looks like he ordered Ryan Bowen off Wish, and that's what you get. It's <laughs> 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 the, the end of beer, too much beard, not enough right arm. But in saying that, we do have a, have a laugh and a joke, and, you know, you, you hang a bit of shit and have a bit of a laugh. And they forgot to change the... Oh, Abe, you big ledge. They for, it was a left-handed match-up, and they just had a right-hand match and forgot to change the pads. Hilarious. Yep. But in saying that, he, he's gone up there. He's gone up on stage. Yes, he's getting flash pinned and things like that, um, Bob and Mason. But for me, you get up on there. For, I love it. I love it. So many people wuss out. So many people, um, yeah, just go, oh, you know what? Uh, I don't want to do it. This guy clearly looks outweighed. 
He looks out muscled and he's going back in because he's like, you know what? Arm wrestling is the way to go. So round two, they've got the pads yep. the right way now. This is in WWE. <clears throat> go watch John Cena versus Mark Henry. That is hilarious. Bang, 2-0. Yeah. This is going so, to be another... Again, 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 another big uh, difference in size. Um, but unfortunately, we're seeing another whitewash. We want to see some good matches, guys. We want good matchups. Um, please don't let the next few be mismatches. Hashtag make left right again. <laughs> uh, now we've got a bit of a problem. Here we go. I've got YouTube is not receiving enough ma- video to maintain smooth streaming. What do you mean? So are we now choppy guys? What's going on? Hopefully not. Because uh, we are moving into round three. What is going on? Yeah, my stream looks like... Uh, has stream gone choppy for some reason? Yeah. Why is that? Could we um, start a new stream? It's not enough video. Hmm. Yeah, keep skipping a tad. Bad picture now. This is no good when we're coming into it. Super chops. Why is that? Not receiving enough video. We've got video. We've got everything going. Alrighty. That Alrighty. Is- that is and we've just seen a 3 0 in this match. This is not good at all. We may have to, all right, guys, we may have to end this stream and then get it back going. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. Why has it stuffed up there? That is so annoying because my camera is moving fine, but YouTube has decided to crack it and maintain. All right, guys, I'm going to end this stream. Stick with us. I'm going to try again. We'll see you guys soon. Oh, yeah, it's choppy. Why is it choppy? That's really bad. My Everything's fine. Audio is fine. We have nothing as of now. Yeah. For some reason, the stream that we're using with blues is choppy and it doesn't seem to be going good. All right, guys, I'm going to end this stream. We're going to reset and we're going to go again. Give me a few minutes. See you, lads.